everyone, and welcome to another episode of A Dramatic Soprano Tries Cooking! And today we will be joined by the wonderful Cree Carico of Butterbee Fitness. Let her introduce herself! Hi, my name is Cree Carico and I'm the Queen Bee over at Butterbee Fit and I am so excited to be doing another collaboration with A Dramatic Soprano Tries Cooking, the one and only Sam. Today, we will be returning to A Feast of Ice and Fire, the official Game of Thrones cookbook. If you can't tell by my shirt, we do have a certain theme going on. Cree, let us know what the theme is. Are you fit to lead the Dothraki? Are you ready to free the slaves? Are you ready to set fire to King's Landing? If you knew who I'm talking about, we are talking about the woman with the very best hair in the entire Game of Thrones universe. She is the moon of your life, the sun of your stars, the queen of dragons, Daenerys Targaryen. I know I got go And just like the mother of dragons, we're going to start across the narrow sea and make some beet soup. If you saw our Arya Stark theme video, you'll know that this cookbook normally has two different versions of each recipe. So in the Arya Stark video we did, there was a medieval version and a modern version. So this one has a Roman style and a modern beet soup. And just like last time, I will be doing the Roman style and Cree will be doing the modern recipe. And then while we wait, of course, for both our soups to boil, we'll be doing the Dragon Queen workout. Let's see whose soup will conquer all of Westeros. Fire and blood. First thing you have to do for the Roman style beet soup is cut up your leeks and peel and dice your beets. That rhymed. Do you have to do a similar thing, Cree? Okay, friends, so I'm transitioning into my very non Game of Thrones themed, we'll call it a cake today, because I just can't have beet juice all over my super cute yellow workout clothes. Anyway, the directions for this blood beet soup, uh, first I had to chop all the vegetables. So here I go. I'm gonna chop away. My version of the recipe calls for two leeks cut into half inch slices. It says to wash thoroughly because look, you got dirt. For the Roman style recipe, you're gonna need four beets. Peel and dice them. This is where you're gonna see the blood, part of the fire and blood come in. does call for four medium-sized beets. And this one is a little small and so is that one, so I'm just gonna add one extra one. Look, my hands are covered with Targaryen's blood. I guess not Targaryen's blood. It would be the blood of the poor people of King's Landing. Chopping, chopping beets and dicing beets. We are chopping beets and dicing them. Because that's what the Game of Thrones cookbook said. I'm pretty sure this is just the color of my hands now. How are your hands doing, Cree? Do you guys remember when she ate the heart of the horse? I'm having like, like moments of like really wanting to recreate that. I just love it. <sighs> Yum. Warning, this recipe will make your counter. I suppose, though, that when you play the game of beet soup, you live or you die. Now you're gonna put your leeks in your saucepan, take your olive oil, drizzle a bit of that. Oh, this one's not opened yet. 
drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Then you're going to add a half teaspoon of cumin and a half teaspoon of coriander. But if you've seen my videos before, you know I don't really measure this kind of stuff. I just let the spirit take me where it wants. That looks good. Ah, I need more coriander. And now you're just gonna cook them till those leeks look good and brown. Make sure they don't burn. Like all the cities Daenerys burned down. It says this process should take about five minutes, which I think was around the time it took Dragon to burn it all down. Once your leeks are golden brown, you're gonna need some wine. It says it can be red or white, whatever is just around your house. Just so you know, I didn't lie. It does say whatever you're drinking, that's in the directions. Some red wine vinegar and chicken broth. It could also be beef broth or just water. Okay, now you're gonna add a three-fourths cup of wine. Yeah, I feel if you add a little extra, it's not such a bad thing. One cup of your chicken broth. I know, mine hasn't fully dethawed yet. I could really use a dragon to do that for me. But it's enough for the recipe. I have to make some more soup. Then one-third red wine vinegar. Oh, this is gonna take forever to pour. And yeah, that looks like a third. Then add your beets. And let that simmer for 45 minutes to an hour or until the beets are fork tender. Mmm, that's a little sweet. Not half bad. All right, Cree, are you ready for a workout? So today I'm gonna to take you through an extra special Queen of Dragons workout inspired by Amelia Clark, who plays Daenerys Targaryen on the series of Game of Thrones. Her trainer likes to take her through HIT training, which means high intensity interval training. So we'll do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off of five body weight exercises. That's how she keeps in great shape. So here we go. While I show you what those exercises are gonna be, you are going to go into a dragon's cave. Now, while I explain all the moves to you, you are gonna come into a nice wide stance. You're gonna reach your hands up above. You're gonna be a flat back down. Keep going flat back until you get right about here. You're gonna swoop down below and then thrust up from the side. It's gonna look like this, flat back down, flat back down, and we swoop and thrust. I'm calling that into the dragon's cave. So keep doing that move while I show you what comes next. Now, when we first meet our beautiful dragon queen, she's engaged to a rather sexy Dothraki man. So we're gonna do a ride with the Dothraki. So you're gonna move your feet as fast as possible, just like you're riding a horse, you got it? Nice, fast feet. That's our first 40 second interval. Then we are going to rise from the ashes, not nude. I mean, you can do this nude if you want. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do that by getting down onto the ground. Back flat, we're gonna plant into our feet. We're gonna come up for a sit up from there. We're gonna use our hands if you need to. Stand all the way up. Then we'll go back down, we'll squat, We'll plant our hands down, we'll roll down slowly, and then we'll rise again from the ashes. That is move number two. Move number three, we're birthing our dragon baby. So, nice wide stance, but because Amelia Clark loves Pilates, we're gonna take these sumo squats into elevated sumo squats. So we're gonna come up onto our toes, then, into that sumo squat. We're gonna stay in this position as we rise up to bore our dragon. So this will be our dragon egg and this will be the dragon coming out of it. Got it? So dragon egg and coming out of it. We're on our toes the entire time. Now, some chest flies to fly like dragons. That hinge that you're in right now, go ahead and hinge there. Our palms will come to touch. We're gonna bring our shoulder blades back. I like to say your shoulder blades are kissing, so. Imagine maybe a kiss with Jon Snow happening just between your shoulder blades. From the front, it's gonna look like this. Got it? Most X 
excellent. Now, back to another Pilates move. Here we go, we're gonna go into a squat. From that squat, we're coming up onto our toes. Here we go. This is the controversial part of the show. You're gonna give yourself a hug, because we all love Daenerys Targaryen until she breathes fire all over King's Landing. <laughs> so this is how we're gonna breathe fire. <sighs> but the entire time we do that, we are in a squat up on our toes. Now be careful not to give me a nice sexy butt. That's for another time and another place, maybe with Jon Snow, maybe with someone else. Anyway, <laughs> that's what we got. Those are your five moves. And uh, let's get started while we make this soup. After that workout, I could use a glass of wine. Taking a page out of the Queen's Hands book. <laughs> Make sure to check out Cree on Instagram at ButterBeFit, and you can find the whole Dragon Queen workout on her IGTV. Cheers. Now after that workout, I'm sure I'll be serving this soup chilled gazpacho all the way. That was fire. All right, let's see if they're fork tender. Uh, I think a couple more minutes is necessary. I only did it for 45, so let's go for another 10. Dracarys! They're fork tender now, and most of the liquid is gone. My directions say that you need to drain off the liquid and reserve it, then mash the beets and leeks in the pot adding the reserved broth as needed. Ladle into individual bowls and serve hot or cold. I think I don't really need to remove the liquid because there's not much liquid left. So I'm just gonna go for it and mash. Mash it! I'm not really sure that you can call mine a soup anymore. It's more of just mashed beets. I may have had it too hot there at the end and maybe that's why all the liquid evaporated. It doesn't really tell you. I mean, I assume there's probably supposed to be a little more liquid than this. If you've made this before, let me know in the comments. I think something went wrong with mine. Okay, so I've got all my ingredients in the pot. We've got garlic, we've got onions, we've got carrots and potatoes and our key ingredient beets, along with just a little bit of butter, water, and mushroom bouillon because I'm a vegetarian. Time for a taste test. I'm nervous. It's actually really, really good. I like it a lot. I mean, I love mashed potatoes and this is just basically mashed beets. Let's try it with a little wine. Mmm, pairs well with the wine. How does yours taste, Cree? Okay, friends, so now that I have sufficiently made a mess of my kitchen, um, the easiest recipe Sam and I have done together thus far, it's now time to try this bloody, fiery Game of Thrones beet soup. Yum. That's really delicious. It's super earthy, really healthy. I'm getting all that kind of like good root vegetable yumminess of the beets and lots of garlic, which I love, and that kind of umami thing from the mushroom broth that I use. So. If you're not a beef eater, mushroom broth, give it a try. Remember to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments which soup you think won. The Beat of Thrones. <laughs> See you next time.